in this country when you wake up in the morning and you are going on your own business don't even bother greeting anybody because when you greet them good morning buongiorno nobody is going to respond to you they will not respond to you hi guys welcome back to my space welcome back to nasal mike tv if today's the first time you're coming across this beautiful face oh yes <laughs> I'm joking, I'm kidding, don't mind me. If today is the first time you're coming across my space, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're watching this video from YouTube, please do wait to subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And if you're watching me from Facebook, please do wait to follow my page. Don't forget to like and also share this video with your families and friends, okay? So you guys, in this video, I'm going to be sharing about, you know, the shocking cultural differences that I've noticed, that I've seen since living in Italy, for a whole two years okay so if you're interested to know about them keep watching okay so I wrote everything down so I don't forget <laughs> I have to write them down so I don't forget so the number one shocking experience that I noticed in Italy immediately I came to Italy the first thing I noticed is that italians kiss a lot they can kiss anywhere you go any corner you go any place you go people are busy kissing children are kissing adults are kissing old mamas and old papas you know those our grannies people as old as your grandmothers that are 90 something it's something even 100 and something they are kissing on the road they are kissing everywhere everywhere you go kissing 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 the thing is just something I like i was shocked while I was still in Nigeria, it is so difficult for you to come out and you see people kissing anyhow. Those kind of things are not done in the open. People do it, you know, in closed doors. But here in Italy, people are kissing everywhere. If you go to the supermarket, they are kissing. It's not just like it's the younger ones, like maybe the youth that are kissing. Old mamas, our great great grandmothers are kissing. They are kissing in the, the supermarket. They are kissing on the road, they are kissing at the train station, they are kissing at the bus station, they are kissing everywhere. These people can kiss. If you want to see people that kisses most in this in this world, I think Italians are the one they will carry the cup. They can you know, they can kiss like it's too much. They can kiss, they too like kissing. I've never seen the thing is so much. In fact, when I came to Italy, I used to be shy when i'm maybe going out with my husband and my husband is trying to kiss me but as it stands now i think i'm beginning to adapt like now i can actually allow my husband to kiss me and i'm no longer shy so that's to tell you the level of the way they do it here so before you know it you will get used to it that's just the thing especially when you are married of course i i don't i don't expect you to go kissing your boyfriend out there but your husband is your legal husband so you can actually do that okay the second thing i noticed that shocked me is that most italians do not wash their white sneakers yes a lot of them especially the youth the younger ones have not really i can't really say that for the for the older ones older men and women but most of the younger ones they don't wash their shoes they are white sneakers to be precise like when you see them going to work or even going to school you are looking at their legs you're seeing the canvas they are wearing the thing is so dirty. You know that this thing is actually white colored, but the thing has turned brownish. It's no longer, it's, it's not, it's, it, it was white. You know that kind of color we call it was white. That's the way it will be looking. You'll be seeing dirt all over it. You'll be seeing so much dirt on it. And I begin to wonder why don't these people wash their shoes? Like I can't imagine myself wearing a dirty canvas, a dirty white canvas outside. I'll be so uncomfortable, I'll be so ashamed. But they wear it very comfortably and they don't care. If you see, you know, a group of young people, let's say a group of 10 or 20, and you are looking at their legs, I tell you, if as they are 20, 18 or 19 of them, their shoes are very dirty. So I don't know the reason and it's not as if it's difficult to wash your canvas. You can just throw it into the washing machine and you wash it. And it's not like Italians are dirty people. These people are very nice. When you go to their houses, if you see how clean and how arranged everywhere is, you will not be wondering. If you see even the way they dress it, if you see the, as in the dress is so, so neat, so clean, then you'll be wondering now why washing canvas is not a difficult task. 
so this is one thing again that shocked me like i was so so surprised another thing that shocked me is that in this country when you wake up in the morning and you are going on your own business don't even bother greeting anybody because when you greet them good morning buongiorno maybe you are walking and you see an elderly person an old woman an old man you know you greet them like we do in nigeria good morning my good morning sir whatever nobody is going to respond to you they will not respond to you they don't care so i was so shocked because when i came here newly whenever i'm going out i'll be greeting people left right and saying that good morning my good morning sir. nobody cares and they will not respond to me and i used to feel bad i'll be wondering what's going on like you, you can imagine greeting somebody and you are not feeling ashamed because they didn't respond to you you will not be embarrassed that you greeted them because they don't care we don't greet good morning good afternoon to somebody you don't know in this country you only greet people when you know them on like one-on-one -on -one, when you know them personally or maybe when you enter their office that's the only thing you don't just see somebody on the road and you'll be greeting the person they will not respond to you the next thing that shocked me is that italians can smoke hey when i say smoking i don't mean children smoke you know these people can smoke these people can smoke anywhere you go to, any place you go to. They are smoking all over the place. Can you imagine someone is going into the supermarket to buy something? The person will pack their cars. They will not come out and smoke first. After smoking, a supermarket that will not take them maybe 20, 30 minutes to finish whatever they are buying in there. They will have to smoke first. And most times when they come out again, they will smoke again before entering their car. Can you imagine that kind of thing? Everybody is smoking. Children are smoking. Adults are smoking. Teenagers are smoking. Women are smoking. In fact, I think women are even smoking more. Everybody is smoking. Everyone is smoking. The thing is just too much that even when you are standing, maybe at the bus station or at the train station, you'll see someone will just carry cigarettes and will just come in, in your front and start smoking. They will be smoking and the smoke will be entering your nose, your mouth, and they don't care because in their mind, they feel like everybody smokes because it's a normal thing to them. The smoking is on another level. As in, if you come here, you will just be amazed. You'll be shocked at the way people smoke. It's too much. It's too much. Like where I'm coming from, you know, Nigeria, People don't just smoke in the open like that. It's only those, you know, now, those kind of people we no send anybody. You know, those type of people that no send anybody, don't care about anything. Those are the kind of people that will be proud to be smoking outside like that. But here, they don't care. They don't care one bit. They smoke so much. The thing is on another level. It's like water they drink in this place. Smoking is like... You know when you 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 when you are done eating, you just have to drink water. That's what smoking is like to them. In fact, some kind of professions, you know, that you expect that the people in that profession are not supposed to be smoking, my dear, they are smoking. Some of them will even even be wearing their uniform and they are smoking. I'm telling you, the thing is on another level. Italians smoke so, so much. So if you, are, if you are hoping to come to this country, just know that this is what you are going to be expecting. People smoke so, so much in this country. Another thing that shocked me about Italians is that they don't joke with their break time, their break period from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. is very, very important to them. Once it's 12 p.m., they will close their shop. So if you, are, if you want to buy anything in a store, and it's already 12 p.m. Just know that you will not see anybody in that store. Even if you get there by 12 p.m., don't. They will tell you, I'm sorry, I've closed. I need to go for my break. They will go for their lunch. It's my lunch time. They will not sell whatever you've come there to buy. They will not sell to you. They will just leave and they will go to their break. And they're going to come back by 2 p.m. That's when they're going to open the shop. So you can imagine that's that was actually very very shocking to me because in my country in nigeria you know there's nothing like break period you will stay in your your office or in your 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 shop or your store you stay there and eat whatever you want to eat it's not compulsory that you must go out to have your lunch you know even if someone comes when you are eating you will just drop whatever you are eating you will drop the food and go and attend to the person but it's not here they will tell you pump and clear i'm sorry it's my lunch time so they're not going to attend to you once it's 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Another thing that shocked me is that in this country, people can wear 
like revealing clothes eh during summer period like this hey come and see you will see nakedness and run people will wear very skimpy skimpy short short dresses like you'll be wondering what is going on everybody both the younger ones both old people as old as my mother even people older than my mother even people close to my grandmother's age they'll be very very skimpy very revealing things and you'll be wondering what is going on what is going on when i came here newly my first few months in this country eh? hmm. if we go out like this i'll be staring i'll be talking i'll be saying things like god honey what is going on i'll be asking my husband what is going on where, where is this person in fact, I was talking and my mouth was paining me because I will, I can't just see them and, and I will just remove my eyes. This in, this in my body, no, they grin me. How can someone come out and the person is wearing almost pants? Almost pants and bra, you use it and come out and you, you now put, you now be wearing your handbag and you'll be comfortable with high heel and you'll be walking. Hey, like the thing is just on another level. They wear very short, short dresses. So, so, so short. Then another thing is that in this country, hmm. The way they dress, you don't know who is old. You don't know who is young. You see an old woman, as old as my grandmother that is almost 90 years old. You will see her, like if if if, if you are at the back, if they are walking and, and you are at their back, you would think this is a very young girl of maybe 20 or even a teenager. Then you will be very shocked when you see their front. You see how old and how wrinkled the face is. Like you'll be so shocked. So there's nothing like you know in Nigeria now our mothers they usually tie wrappers. You know there's a certain way our mothers usually dress, but not like in this country. In this country, everybody dresses the same way. They wear their jean trouser. They wear, you know they wear some kind of shoes and all that. Like nobody cares in this country. There is no particular dress for a particular age grade. Everybody is wearing the same type of clothes. So you won't even know who is grandmother. You won't even know who is um, young. You won't know who is old. So that's just it. Then another thing that shocked me in this country is the way Italians are organized. Italians are so, so, so organized. This is another thing that I love so, so much about them. These people are organized. When I mean organized, if you enter an Italian person's house, you will know. When you enter someone else that is not an Italian person, you will also know. Everything will be so arranged. Their house will be so sparkling, so clean. These people are so, so organized. I don't think I've seen anyone as organized as them. I've, I don't think so. They are so, 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 so organized. They are so neat. This is one good thing I love about them. Another thing that shocked me is the way Italians mind their business. Like, the level of minding one's business in this country is on another level altogether. Like, when I mean minding one's business, like, they are just focused on their own. They no send you. I'm telling you, it's on another level. If you're having problem, let's say you are going out and something happens to you, you know how we do in Nigeria, people will not rush, everybody will rush to come and see what happened. It's not like that here. Yeah. Nobody will even go your way. They will be they will just concentrate and be going where they're going. No one cares. The highest thing they can do for you if you are in a very critical condition is to either call the police or call the ambulance for you. But for them to rush, hey, hey, what is it? Nobody cares. They will not do it. The other day, I went to Torino to shop our African food stuffs. Okay, so and I was carrying my carol or carol, I don't know how they call it. So that's like my shopping cart, kind of the shopping bag I usually use when I'm going going to shop. Now, the the tire of that shopping bag spoiled and it was so difficult for me as I was coming out of the train, the thing spoiled. So I started struggling on how to fix it. It was so difficult for me. Everybody was just passing me. All the guys, all the men, they were just passing. They would just, you know, shift one side and just pass. Nobody cared. None of them cared to like to see what this girl is struggling with. Nobody cared. At, at a point, I was the only one remaining inside that train. I was like, I have to now rush. I have to struggle and struggle and struggle to bring that thing out of the train. But if it's in Nigeria, that kind of thing will not happen. When you're having that kind of struggle as a woman, you will see lots of, you know, guys that will rush to come and help you. So that's just another thing that shocked me here. Everyone is minding their business. People are minding, the, as in the way people mind their business in, in this country is alarming. It's something like, it's so, so shocking. You'll be so shocked. You'll be shocked if you are coming from Nigeria. When you see it, you'll be really, really shocked. So the next thing that shocked me is that Italians, Italians do not bury their dead. They actually burn their dead. So once someone dies, 
they will burn the person. That's what they usually do. There are just very few people that will bury their dead. In fact, it almost doesn't happen. It almost doesn't happen. They usually burn their dead. So I was shocked. You know, in Nigeria, we usually bury our dead. So that's another thing that shocked me. Then, another thing about Italians too that shocked me is that they love festivals a lot. You know, festivals saying um they will celebrate this one um festa festa saint also festa la this one festa this one they love festivals so much every month there's no more they're not celebrating festivals there are no more they don't have holidays in between that they need to go and celebrate one festival or the other they love celebration they love festival so 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 much another thing is that italians love pasta like you know spaghetti macaroni the rest you know different shapes in this country you will see different shapes of it different there's no type of shape of pasta you will not see they love it so much so so much i think it's it's their best food there's no way they will not prepare pasta they will even bake it they will bake the pasta. They will do everything to pasta. They love pasta so much. That's one of their best food. So if you are coming here, just get ready to eat pasta. You just get ready to eat lots and lots of pasta. Another thing again that shocked me is that in Italy, people don't carry umbrella when it's sunny. Because the type of sun in this country, eh? hmm. Just like when it's winter period, the cold is on another level. That is exactly how it is when it's you know summer period. The sun, eh? hmm. the sun is too much. This the sun. I don't think even even the northern parts of Nigeria, you know, just and the rest, their sun is as hot as hot as the one we usually experience here during you know summer period. The sun is something else. So if you are carrying umbrella here, everybody will be staring at you like they've seen a ghost. Like they they even be laughing at you because they don't carry umbrella here except when it's either raining or when it's snowing. That's the only way they can carry their umbrella. But once it's just sunny, they don't carry umbrella. So if you are carrying umbrella, everybody will be looking at you like they will be laughing and staring at you. So that is it. Another thing that shocked me here is that. Italians love PDA. That's public display of affection. Like they love it a lot. And I also love that. I love it about them too. Because in this country, you will see an old man and old woman, like you know, very old couples that are very, very old, as old as your grandmothers in the village and your grandfathers. They'll be holding hands when they are walking. They'll be holding each other. They're either holding hands or maybe the man is wrapping his, you know, his arms around the woman's the woman's waist. And they'll be walking like you'll be so shocked. Some of them are even so old that they'll be shaking. Yeah, they will hold each other like this. Both of them will be shaking together. So I just love that about them. I just love that about them. You guys know in Nigeria now, our parents don't do that kind of thing. You hardly see parents doing that. Whatever they want to do, they do it inside their room. They don't come out on the road, you know, in the in the open place, in the market, in the supermarket, holding hands, you know, that, that kind of thing. They hardly do it. But here in Italy, it's a normal thing. In fact... You ha I've never seen a couple working and they're not holding hands. It's not possible. I've never seen husband and wife working on the way they are not holding hands. Whether young or old, they will definitely be holding each other. So it's a normal thing about them. And I love it so much about them. So what is the last one? Another thing here. Hmm. When you try to assist Italians, they will not agree. I remember the other day. I I was going out and I saw this old woman. She was carrying water. I actually don't know because normally every house there is always water. Water is always running in every house. But I saw her carrying a bucket of water. Though her house, I that was the day I noticed that her house was actually close to the village. So she was just carrying this water in a big bucket. You right know that was what I did. I I tried to help her. I I greeted her and I was like, let me help you. Let me help you carry it to you. Whatever wherever you are carrying it to. She refused. She said no. She insisted. She said no. I said okay, no wahala. So they don't like you helping them. Unlike in Nigeria, when people see you, they expect you to help them do one or two things. They don't like you helping them as much as they don't even want to help you. They just want to. Everybody's minding their business. Just like they are not expecting. Um, they are. They are not ready to help you. They are equally not expecting you to help them. Even when you try to help them, it's very strange to them. 
so they won't even agree they would definitely decline so so you guys i think i'm going to be ending this here for now okay i might likely be doing part two because there are still more and more things that i've experienced so thank you so much for watching the video to this point and if you're watching from youtube you've not subscribed please do well and subscribe i don't know why you've not subscribed please do well subscribe if you're watching from facebook please do well to follow my page share my videos like comments okay make sure you share this video everywhere thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in my next video for now bye